Red Gorgonians are an iconic species of coral, native to the Mediterranean. Like a network of trees, these animals are the building blocks of rich underwater forests. They play an essential role in marine biodiversity. Gorgonians are not only a source of food, but also act as a nursery and a place of shelter. This summer, temperatures reached record highs. In the northern Mediterranean, this resulted in an episode of unprecedented mass die-off. The results are alarming. Between zero and 30 meters deep, several sites showed almost all Gorgonians dying within just a few days. According to climate predictions, events like these will become increasingly frequent. In the short term, Gorgonian populations could be seriously threatened, along with all the ecosystems that depend on them. But beneath these shallow waters, the landscape changes dramatically, and there is reason to hope. Here, at a depth of 50 meters, the Gorgonians are still perfectly intact. Could these deeper waters become a final refuge for threatened species? To find answers, UNESCO and the One Ocean Foundation have launched a scientific exploration mission in collaboration with the French National Centre for Scientific Research. As we explore these depths, shipwrecks provide unique natural laboratories. By pinpointing the date of these wrecks, we can tell the exact age of the Gorgonian colonies that grow on their hulls. This will teach us how long it takes for Gorgonians to develop self-sufficiently, cut off from the surface by a zone made uninhabitable due to global warming. Eventually, these shipwreck laboratories are doomed to disappear, so exploring them is both an ecological and a scientific emergency.